Hey, what's up? It's Wizard Fu, and this is another game development video in the Low Dragger 5 vs. 5 development series. Going to GDC next week. If anybody's going to be there, hit me up. Hit me up on Twitter. Say hello. Let's get together. There's lots of things to be doing at GDC. Lots of things to be learning, too. Uh, let's check out what I've been working on here with the Voxel Engine. The Voxel Engine is really coming along. I'm super proud of um, how it's looking. There's some things to be done with... Um, doubling up of pixels for example when you can see you can see the jib when he's sitting there floating sometimes his little dot that says makes his light or his one eye um it turns into two pixels instead of one pixel there's some things to be done there though i'm sure i can improve it a lot what i'm working on now is highlights though so you can see right now rock is standing next to this flame here and he's got a nice highlight going on it's like it's flickering a little bit with the flyer and that you, see, you can see the right edge of him is all lit up by that and uh, it's looking really good to me um, but check it out there's some issues so if I turn to the one um, one angle to the right you can't see it anymore here it's back here it's back sometimes it's glowing way too much too so that needs to be fixed um, but also let's take a look at the mathematics behind it because you can see that uh, there's more to it than what I'm what I'm doing just so far so right now it's actually what it does is it casts all the shadows for every voxel casts a shadow if that entity has uh, the flag to cast shadows and then so for, for example it ends up with the player casting all of his voxels are casting shadows right so then it goes and um goes over highlights uh it highlights all any voxels which were not in shadow so that would mean that you know like all the pixel all the voxels on the edge of the the character's model which didn't get shadowed all those are highlighted so it's kind of a cheesy uh, it's, it's not cheesy but it is kind of eh, flimsy I guess is the word right in certain three-dimensional senses that's not always gonna make us uh, it's not always gonna work this is fast that's one way it's really really fast way to do highlights it's just looping over any voxels that didn't get highlighted um, but there's ways to make it more accurate that's what the next step of this should be so um, and also you can see that I'm just I'm basically calculating the strength of the highlight based on the fire flame. Um, really, it should be based on how close that voxel is to the light, right? If it's really close to the fire light, then it should be flickering strongly. If it's really far away, then it should just be based on the strength of the directional light that's universal. Uh, for example, the sunshine. So... Um, there's lots of left to do there. Let's take a look at one more thing I've been working on lately, and that's uh, um, how could I put this? Well, it's it's I'm basically just taking I'm trying to take voxels and make them semi-transparent. That's really all it is. But that is it is unique in how it has to uh, work with the depth buffer. So the depth buffer has to be smart about how it determines if it's a a the the pixel Z coordinate in 2D projected space is behind something else or in front of something else how does it blend those two together right if if a, if a voxel is behind another and it, and you're trying to draw a semi-transparent voxel on top of it how do you blend the two together how do you ensure that one is solid one's not solid and there's a lot of little tricks to it so i'm i've got a lot of ways to go because right now you can see that the the player is not visible behind this flame when i'm standing right behind this flame right here you can't see any of the voxels for rocks model let's look a look let's let's turn on one thing though if I go to fire and I turn on the global occlude flag it's just gonna draw a single voxel for every different pixel and things got start to get weird right it's not so because I'm doing a very a barely any um, color value for this fire um, it worked really well when there was a whole vo three-dimensional voxel model because all the, there's a lot of different voxels that could correspond to the same pixel. So you get a nice bright flame. But here, we're only having one voxel per pixel. And that means that if it's a dark color, then it's going to appear really dark right here. And it's not going to add up like but color additive layers together, all adding together, making a nice bright color. This is just one sort of darker color. So I would need to increase the color here. Uh, to get that to look better um, right now we can just do that pretty simply we can turn that to a brighter color alpha value and it'll look a little bit nicer 
but still we're not getting that an, an additive look because it's using that global occlude and there's also some other voxel issues you can see it's leaving behind voxels and then not drawing them for a second so lots to do there to get that working uh, but let's turn it back to how it was and you can see it kind of looks good this way where there's no occlude so it's using a three-dimensional all the voxels and it's adding them all together and it's, you're getting this nice sort of this kind of flame so there's there's lots left to do what I really would like to do is be able to have that be able to see part of the player behind that fire and for it to be perfectly accurate with like you know none of those uh, pixels being left behind right there and uh, and also I can imagine like light beams for example this would be a sweet way to do light beams I could see a cool light beam just coming in on this sort of clearing area right here and three-dimensional as you rotate around it's, it looks really dope it's from every angle it looks unique um, so there's uh, lots left on the plate here to finish this voxel engine but it's really close to being complete I, th I bet by the end of the month I'll have this to a, a complete enough stage where um, I'm happy with it and can move on to other parts of the project so that's it for this video thanks for watching